This is our Italian trailer. Um, it's called the Bow Hunter. It's uh, the second smallest in the range, but it really is quite suitable for us as a family. So let me give you a quick walk around. We uh, have the nose cone over here, um, which we can keep various tools and tent pegs, uh, hammers, axes, that type of thing in the front there. Um, also in the nose cone is the gas bottle, which uh, is used for the gas cooker. We then have the kitchen side of the trailer, which consists of a fridge. Um, in this door here, we have crockery, bowls, uh, cups, spoons, knives, forks, crockery, etc, etc. If we move around here, you can see this is the Dometic gas cooker, run by the gas canister in the, in the nose cone. Um, storage for all of the bits and pieces. Uh, that's the jackery that we use to charge phones and um, our Apple watches, camera batteries. We've got a Tentco Junior tent on the top, which is suitable for sleeping two people. And then we use a safari type dome tent over there um, for the kids to sleep in. The tent comes with a nice awning area that you can then sit under. Um, we keep our chairs, our tables, relaxing cooler box for some drinks. The trailer then has a full drawer system over here, which uh, we use for all of our groceries. We have a second drawer um, underneath the grocery drawer. That one we use for other bits and pieces. So we keep our kettle in there, extra lights, uh, towels, tent pegs. Uh, we've even got some footstools and then uh, all of our bright tools go in there as well. Um, the doors all come equipped with these canvas pockets um, for keeping other things. Um, so we keep torches and batteries, uh, charging cables, a Bluetooth speaker and other bits and pieces um, in those. And these uh, canvas pockets are in all of the doors around the, around the camper around the trailer um, and so yeah that does come with quite a bit of storage and then inside the the tent there's another cupboard that we can then use for for clothes and storage that's the bed and of course you have a ladder that you use to get up onto the top of the bed and then this is probably the most important cupboard in the trailer we keep all of our drinks down there and uh, obviously we're not in use that's where the fridge slides back into and closes up nicely and simply this um, wooden cutting board that we use quite a bit is uh, or was made for me by my mate gareth he is an excellent uh, carpenter woodsman um, he can do many many different things he makes custom furniture cutting boards um, all sorts so if you're interested uh, drop me a comment and I can send you his details um, in a direct message. I like to use these uh, front runner ammo boxes. Um, these are the new style ones with the heavy duty clips. These boxes are actually sealed, so fully waterproof and dustproof. So kind of like a pelican case, but a lot cheaper. Um, I use them to keep all sorts of paraphernalia in. Those particular ones are for camera equipment, um, lenses, batteries, um, filters all of that type of stuff um, i do find the front runner range um, very versatile they pretty much have stuff for everything that you need i also have the front runner um, rack on the back of the bucky on the back of the truck um, these also again very versatile you can get all sorts of clips and adapters to keep any type of equipment on there that you want so as you can see i have my um, yeti mountain bike up there uh, you get a mountain bike adapter or a bicycle adapter so it can carry any type of bike. Um, I also keep a bag of wood and charcoal on the top there as well. Um, it comes with these clips um, that you can just use them to ratchet down pretty much anything you want. And then in the back of the bucky, back of the truck, I um, have a 20 litre front runner bottle um, that I've rigged up with a hose. Um, and tap little adapter it works on a gravity fed system when you need fresh water you just uh, unwrap the hose and uh, 
turn the blue tap and voila fresh water anytime you want so I use that quite a bit um, in conjunction with the coffee making kit um, I just keep the coffee kit in the boot when I need it I open up the back fill up the jet boil with the water and off we go this is the Jackery portable power station um, unit that we use when we camp it's the Jackery 250 so it's a 250 watt unit um, you actually get about 200 watts of power out of it um, in terms of devices that you could charge we tend to use it for charging phones and watches uh, camera batteries that type of thing but it is actually powerful enough to run our national lunar 70 litre camping fridge as well um, we often plug the fridge into this when we're driving because the battery in the trailer is actually worn out I need to get a new one um, so this one at least keeps the fridge going while we are traveling to places it's quite a handy unit um, you charge it over here you can plug it into the mains it comes with a car charger you can even plug it into a solar panel it takes between I think about four to six hours to fully charge and you can charge devices using USB it's got an inverter in it which allows you to charge at 220 um, and it's also got a 12 volt cigarette lighter type um, uh, plug-in that you can use as well so we find this quite handy just to keep our various devices charged up um, while we are camping we do have a, a multi-plug a 220 volt multi-plug in the trailer itself which we can also use as well but this one obviously because it's portable we can just move it around and charge up whatever we need to where we are sitting <laughs> 